Today's episode of Desert Wood Days with Kathy Blaze was sponsored by Dork Publishing. Visit them at dorkpublishing.com. I want to visit all the places nobody goes. I want to teach all the things that nobody knows. I want to grow wings, leave the coop, learn to fly. Bungee jump from the tallest building in Dubai. I want to fly around town in my UFO. I want to eat real food, not the GMOs. I want to make moves, call the shots like the boss. I want to love like I never lost. Welcome back to Desert Wood Days, and I am your host, Kathy Plays. Today's guest is a serial entrepreneur. Why don't we welcome Miss Keisha McGee? Hello there. Hi there, Kathy. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, such a pleasure. Likewise. Great. Don't you look beautiful today? Thank you. You as well. <laughs> Love the pearls. Thank you. Thank you. So... Keisha, you're right. This is actually my first time meeting you in person. I've seen you all over social media, and um, I was referred to you by one of our previous guests, yeah. Mr. TJ Supa. Yes. <laughs> He's an awesome guy. I know he does a lot in the community. Yes, he does. But you also do a lot in the community as yes, well. So that's you. why I'm so happy to have you here so we can talk about some of those things. Awesome. So, but what I'd like to um, do first, Keisha, is learn a little bit about who you are as a person okay. before we get started into all the business side, okay? Okay. Where are you originally from? Chicago. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, what brought you to Arizona? Um, it's cold. <laughs> it's Chicago. Um, the cost of living was pretty expensive at that time, but easy and slow we catch it up yes there. it is yes it is <laughs> um so yeah that's what that's what brought me okay. and plus i was at, at a crossroad in my life and i wanted something different i understand yeah. that that's nothing wrong with that especially when you're a serial entrepreneur mm. i mean changes and things that's going on in your life and your business so that's a great reason to make a change in your environment as well a new start absolutely so, Keisha, how would you describe yourself? You're an entrepreneur, but um, tell us, what is it that you do? How, what do you, how do you want others to see you? What, what do you do in our community? So what I am trained and skilled to do is massage therapy. Okay. That's my, my first love. Um, it's a trade that basically got me out of poverty mm. and put me in a, a state a financially stable position in my life. And it's an avenue that I'm using, um, or utilizing to, to create, um, events for my nonprofit. Oh, okay. Okay. So whatever I do, I'm going to incorporate health and wellness into it as well. Okay. What was it that got you into that field? I, I can tell you, I remember when I first started uh, working my first JLB, I thought I wanted to be a nurse until I got into that field mm -hmm. and realized that really wasn't the piece that I loved. I loved doing the managerial, the technical type stuff. What was it that got you into the health and wellness section? It was actually by accident um, or just divine intervention. Um, but I was actually going to school to pursue personal training at first. Okay. Um, still into like health um, and fitness. And all of the classes were filled up. Massage therapy was the only class that was available. And I'm the type of person, if if I'm in a, a phase of struggle in my life and I don't know what I want to do, I'll, I'll take some type of class, some mm. type of training, you know, um, to get myself motivated again. Right. And so pursuing that was to motivate me um, when I was in that current situation I was in. And so luckily massage therapy was, um, what was, what was available at the time? Well, you know what? We love 
what you do as a massage therapist, especially being in the entertainment field. I mean, I was looking at something the other day and um, one of the celebrities, they were talking about their massage therapist. So we love what you do. I know I do, so thank you. (laughs) (laughs) But I know you also do events here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. What was it that initiated that? Did you see that there was a need for the type of events that you were doing? You know, a lot of times when I create events, it it comes to me in a dream. Oh. It really does. Like, <laughs> what is the, um, like when I saw the movie, um, with the, the railroad lady, I oh, keep forgetting Harriet, Harriet oh. Tubman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am African-American. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it just came to mind. <laughs> Harriet Tubman. Like, when I saw that scene about she saying that, you know, a lot of what she wanted to do came into a dream, uh, I was like, wow, I, when I think about something and I dream about it, I, I take action uh, and I actually manifest it. And so one of my most successful events was the Black Excellence Awards. Okay. And it was for Black History Month. Uh-huh. Um, And I just started researching a a lot of um, inventors, a a lot of um, African-American influencers at that time. And I I was just so in love with Black history. I love that. And I love that you're, that is your focus, that genre. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there's so many things going on where that information is being taken out of schools and, and other areas so i love that we as people are taking the initiative upon ourselves to spread that knowledge yeah it was a very informative um event full of knowledge about african-american history i was so proud of that event congratulations congratulations and i know that you had you you've did you complete the, the, you did the, no, it's the new one. You have a new event coming. Oh, yeah. The Father's Day, we were talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was the Fathers of Music Awards. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I just wanted to do something special for Father's Day. Um, at the time when I was looking for venues, everything was all booked up. And well, the venue that I wanted to do it at, because mm-hmm. I wanted to go all out and everything. Thank God, because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that would have been a lot of money. Um, but we had to push it back, and so now it's a, it's an event, but it's it's way more laid back, okay. and you don't have to get all dressed up and fancy right. for it, um, but just you know, dress cute and presentable. <laughs> I'm cute and presentable. She said. <laughs> But I and I also want to talk about this about this event that you just talking about because we were speaking on this the other day, and you mentioned about you not you didn't have a father in your life, yeah. so I I love that even though you didn't have that father figure, you're representing and recognizing those fathers that are in your life mm-hmm. or that's out there in the community seeing the great job that they're doing as fathers. Right. I love that you're doing that. Um, tell us how that how does that make you feel and how, and how do they feel? I mean well when I first told you about that I was I don't, I'm not sure if you saw the emotion in my face because that's a I didn't even think I was gonna cry. Oh. That's good. That's that, those are good tears. Yeah, it's all good. I didn't even think I was gonna get this emotional about it, but yeah, it's just like I just I admire the fathers that are out there that's actually taking care of their children and showing them that love and that guidance. Um, so I just wanted to do something nice I to acknowledge them. Right, right. I hear a lot that you know. We well, don't you, acknowledge the fathers. Well, you know, we, we talk about mothers all the time. Right. And mothers, yeah, we're the they, best. Yes. yes, we are, but you know what? <laughs> we're only half of the equation there. That yeah. We have yeah. to recognize our fathers if we want them to be in the picture. True, and true. to be a, a support system for their children or children, mm-hmm. other children. Because it's not always your child 
we're mentoring other children as yes, well. Absolutely. So I love that you did. Is so is this going to be an annual event, you think? You know, I I really want it to be. Um it's something that um I hope will um develop into something much greater. So I'm I'm just gonna go with the flow with the first event, see how everything turns out, see if people are touched and moved by yeah. it and you know, want to continue to participate in it. Because I, when I thought about it, um, TJ Super was the was the first person. And I was like, because at first it was the fathers of hip hop, but then I wanted to diversify the genre. Mm. And so now it's fathers of music. Like so that, that way I can incorporate um, a lot of different um, international music right, into right, it. Right, right, yeah. right. I love that. And I hope that you do make it an annual event. We have to keep representing for the fathers out yes, there. Absolutely. You were stating that um, you changed the name to so that it's more international. You're not just making it a hip hop mm -hmm. and leaving other genres out. So what was it that triggered that? What triggered that is I know artists that um, are in those different genres, oh. um, and I wanted to make sure I represent them. So I know um, a Jamaican artist and DJ, um, Gentile Outlaw, uh -huh. is one of the nominees. Also, um, DJ Frost, both okay. from Jamaica. Okay. Um, Young Flame is an Afrobeat artist. Uh -huh. Um, and also DJ Fabio, which mm. is from, let me get it correct, Cameroon. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you just wanted to make sure that you're yes. in, it's about fathers, yes. no matter what type of music, Absolutely. if it's country music, they're fathers. Right, right. So I, I get what you're saying. So I know you brought some media today. Why don't we take a look at your media? Awesome. <laughs> so this is your, um, your flyer for the event. Yes. And, and it's, okay. You want to talk a little bit about this? I met uh, Gentile at a at an event, and I I just felt like he was so talented, um, and so I started to like introduce him to a lot of like um, promoters that I know out here okay. um, that are involved in the AZ Car uh, Caribbean Festival, um, just so he can, you know, just bless people with his talent um very talented mm -hmm. artist and that's what it's about getting out there connecting yeah okay and of course super <laughs> mr super there yeah he he is definitely the inspiration behind this yeah the first person i contacted when we brainstormed about it, I started to get tingles in my scalp. Like I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing be just because of his presence. Oh, okay. Yes. And Young Flame, I just recently met him. I think he's with Black Star Entertainment. Um, now he's going solo, doing his own thing. Oh, okay. Um, I liked his uh, song VIP and I was like, can you sing that at the first annual father's awards and he was like yeah hmm. i love so, that picture of him in that white suit i know and that's dj frost okay. from jamaica um and his story is so touching to me as far as he just recently lost his dad oh. um and so i like i i had a like a lineup of people and then i was like dj frost like he would be Great, would be perfect you know, yeah. he would be perfect because it, you know, we just need that support, you know, from each other when oh, we're going through something because it's still so fresh. It's not like it's a year ago. Right. This is like a couple of months ago, and so I wanted to include him in in the event. Right. Yeah. Your event is scheduled for Saturday, July 29th, yes. and it's at the Egyptian Motor Hotel. Yes. Okay. So when selecting the hotel and is there, was there a certain reason why you selected that hotel? Um, no, because I know I've done events before and I, you know, we usually select a venue for a specific reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I think it Dwayne Yokely is the one who introduced me to that spot. Oh, okay. Because he had an event going on. He's a um, a house. Uh, um, do the house music? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that title. I, I, I don't know, know they're DJs. <laughs> yeah. He he does house music events, and he's from Chicago as oh, well. Okay. And so um, he told me about it because I was I was really looking for something like really fancy. Oh, okay. You know, um, like I said, God works in mysterious and ways. This is, and then this is probably something that's perfect for what they do. They're right. comfortable and familiar with this location. Right. So the event is Saturday, July 29th. It's an all-white pool party. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, what 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 your what your audience um, your pe your people what are they gonna what can they expect from that day? Well, from that day, the lineup um, will be DJ Frost. He'll be spinning Afrobeats, reggae. Um, music because we're trying to give the whole beach um tropical island okay. thing okay. for the event um and i just wanted to color coordinate it because i think it looks really nice okay. on in photos um so he'll be performing um gentile the outlaw and young flame but that's for the all white party okay we also will have um an awards ceremony that's all in one day? It's, all, oh, it's a okay. whole day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we try to do it big over here. <laughs> so, yeah, so the all black uh, ceremony is from, um, I think, 7.30 to 10.30. Okay. So that's when we'll be um, giving out the awards and all the nominees will give a speech and um, a performance and we'll all toast out the evening. Okay, so they'll they'll be there at the pool party. Mm -hmm. Then they got to go take them, go somewhere and change. And I, I've get ready seen to it before. People put clothes <laughs> in their car <laughs> so they can, you know, go to the next venue. Um, I remember I went to this um, Afrobeat party and it was an all day thing. I mean, people, I was like, where is everyone getting these clothes from? <laughs> everyone switched outfits and we went somewhere else. And I was like, okay, so all you got to do. Put it in your car, right. in your right. trunk, when you and, get ready. And this is a Saturday. Change. Are you guys blocking rooms for the event as yes, well? Yes, we do have rooms uh, available for the event um, at a discounted price. Okay. If they go to um, the event bright, okay. they'll see the special that we have for okay. the event. Okay, and it's on uh, FOMA2023. Um, dot eventbrite dot com. Yes, and I also see that you're the hostess with yes. the most is for the event. Yes, that do you always host your own events? No, this is my first time hosting. Oh. Um, the Are you event. excited? I am, and I wanted to ask you if you can host the evening event. Oh Lord, we can, <laughs> the, we can the, talk about that online. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get her on camera. <laughs> she <laughs> you did. You can't say no. Yeah, I, I just need another hostess. And I think, because, you I'll know, I can't be everything that and do true. everything. And so. I see that you also have a fashion show. Yes. So tell yes. us a little bit about the fashion show. Is that going to be the fathers, some of the fathers, or who's going to be in the fashion segment? Um, You know, I wanted to mix it up and probably do like a swimsuit so uh, okay. showcase. Oh, okay. Um, and of course there will be, you know, men and women okay. uh, swimwear in it. I mean, because it's so hot. Right. Who wants to be yeah. in a fashion show and it's a hundred and that's true, especially July 29th. I know, but we had there's misters at the event, so it'll keep you nice and cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> where can our audience um, find out more information on this event? Um, Do you have an event page on social media? Well, they can go to Eventbrite. Also, um, my social media is Queen of Massage AZ on Instagram okay. and um, the, re the Relaxation Bar AZ. Okay. Well, this is awesome. And I know you guys are going to have a great event. Yes. It looks like you have some there. I know TJ Super being a part, it's going to be oh, a yeah. great event. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and um, Mega Ron will be performing as well. Oh. So, and a couple of other more people that um, TJ suggested. 
So yeah, it's going to be a really nice event. Okay. Any last thoughts about the events before? Um, yeah, just come out and experience the first annual Fathers of Music Award. Um, bring a change of clothing. There's an all white party and an all black party. Okay. And come out and support local artists. Sounds like a fabulous time. And thank you for doing this for our thank fathers you. here in Arizona. We need to see more of this being done for our men. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for joining us here today. It was such a pleasure to finally meet you. Thank you as well, Kathy. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us here today at Desert Days. And we'll catch you next time. Blaze is sponsored by Dork Publishing. Visit them at dorkpublishing.com.